Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to do a knife review on the Inlon EL01. Um, I'm sure most of you guys have heard about this knife. It's a China made knife. It's super popular. Uh, everybody says it's um, a super knife. So I, I got one. I got one. I got mine on eBay for like $13. I got the black G10. Uh, <clears throat> 8 CR13 MOV steel. Uh, so I got it, um, and it was super stiff, super stiff. And as you can see, the pivot screw, the way you adjust it, is almost like a Microtech hardware. And the tool is $18, so the tool is more expensive than the actual knife. I was like, to hell with that, for a $13 knife, I just cut a slot in there, uh, that way I can, I don't know if you guys, yeah, you can see it, I, uh, I just cut a slot in there so I could adjust it with a flathead screwdriver. Um, so that's what I did, and I took the knife apart, <coughs> <coughs> comes with, um, one plastic washer. Oh, well, now it's not gonna focus, but uh, there you go. You can see though that's the white washer up here on the top, and then it came with a it's um, maybe a bronze washer. I'm not sure what kind of washer it is. I don't think it's a phosphorus washer, but I took it apart, um, sanded both washers down because they both had rough edges. Uh, so I sanded both of them down and you know made them smooth and you know, oiled it up and she flicks right open. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. It's not the best action in the world, but it's a lot better than it was and it's not that terrible. Um so you know usually I cover specs. I'll I'll do you know length and stuff like that. Uh Problem is, is it's hard to find specs for this knife. A uh, bunch of different sizes are given on different sites. They're they're not consistent, so I didn't have a pair of calipers. <clears throat> so I went to my Harbor Freight and just got a cheap pair because I mean that doesn't have to be super accurate. Just just you know enough for you guys to get a sense. Um, so we're gonna take a couple measurements here. We'll do. It might be hard for you guys to see, but we're, I'm going to do from tip to where the pivot screw is, and I'm getting, well, t t tip to G10 scale. I'm getting about 3.72 inches. Um, overall length, I don't know if my, I don't know if these are big enough. No, they're not big enough. Uh, so I'll try to guess. Let's see. So if I if I had to guess, I'd say about eight <clears throat> eight point four inches long. Um, so it's a it's a bigger knife, and for thirteen dollars, I think it's a great buy. It's a super good deal. It, it's a thicker, it's got a thicker handle. It feels great in the hand. It's easy to hold on to. It's got great, you know, the jumping's okay. It's not the best. This little ramp thing here, I don't like that. I thought about grinding that down. A lot of people have. They just cut it this way. Uh, and it looks a little better. A lot of people modified the uh, flipper in videos. Um, so I, th I thought about maybe doing something like that. And, uh, the handles are skeletonized, or the uh, stainless steel inserts here, you can see they're skeletonized. Uh, it is uh, tip up right hand carry only, and it has a lanyard hole. Uh, but it's got jimping all over the place. So it's, it, I think it's, I think, I think it's a great knife for the price. 
even be in China. Maybe let's see if I can get the ACR 13. They sort of see it. ACR 13 and MOV steel. Um. So I, I I do think it's a great knife for the price, and from China, you know it, it's not that bad. Uh, a lot of people are buying these knives, putting phosphorus bushings in them. Um, you know, phosphorus washer, sorry. Uh, and some people are even lightening them up by uh, the holes here in the um, stainless steel <laughs> inserts here. Uh, people are going ahead and drilling all the way through the G10 scales. To make it even a little bit lighter, because it is pretty heavy. Um, I'm not too sure on how much this thing weighs. I, I do not have a scale, um, but I have other things here so you guys can see size. I got the Spider Co Domino, and like always, we'll just do pivot to pivot. There's that. <clears throat> So about the same length as a Benchmade 940. And then, oh, new bedlam. My new bedlam. It's not new. So it's not, it's not as big as the bedlam. It's pretty close to the same size as the 940. It's just, you know, the handle's way bigger than the 940. Let's see here. I can try to show you guys what I mean. Well, the lighting's not very good. Sorry about that, guys. But I mean, you can you can sort of see it's yeah, it's way thicker. So I definitely think it's a good knife, and uh, if you haven't gotten it for thirteen bucks, it's worth a try. I mean, you could definitely get your money out of it just by posting it up on one of the knife sites or <clears throat> a knife Facebook page or something like that. So, you know, let me know what you guys think, um, or if you guys know of some cool mods, you know, comment, let people know. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, dislike, and if you have any questions, just ask. Thanks for watching.